Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Legendary Monghua campaign. This is episode 8. We pink things up from turn 57 in the autumn season of 201. So, we had a very slow march towards Yangfeng, but his time is going to be up this episode as we look forward to moving on towards King Mulu down to the farther south. We did get to try out our army, and I think I want to play around with how we're going to use our... Uh, tiger units because I think they're better for distraction and it's probably better to spread them out because it seems like they lock onto their initial target and they just run wild so grouping them together is not as effective. Uh, regardless we're doing fine uh, minus the weapons bug but we have to live with that and most of these are pretty much well built um, I don't want to go any taller than a city build right now and Shamoka needs just need to stay alive before we can get to him. So well, this side gets a little bit more interesting because we did repel the armies here. And potentially we could have some options. We did recall one unit of fire archers. It's on one of them. We'll find them. There we go. Wubinsuo. So we could potentially send out another army and together they could take down... Chengdu for us, and then we can, you know, start taking some of his territories, just getting him off the map here. So not only is this unit interesting, we also have some tiger units. Right. Is he on assignment? Oh, he is on assignment. Is he on a food assignment? That's the other question. Wu Bo Xian? Let's see. No, he's just on visit tribal leader, so we'll cancel that. We'll put him in this army too. Once he comes out, and he already has night battle on him, that's pretty good. We have a decent front line. I just want him for the tiger and the fire units. We need to spend the rest. Uh, tiger's really for fun. It's not a big deal. This might of the valley. Yeah, it is. Wulin fighters, Wulin slingers. This is a Shamoku unit and the, everything here. Okay. We'll grab that as well. And then we'll grab him next turn. And then once they replenish up with this army, we'll head over there to Chengdu. We'll finally siege it down. Uh, it will take us a few turns as we don't have any elephants for siege attackers, but overall shouldn't take too long. We actually will be able to recruit more elephants soon, I believe. Six turns. We get two more Nanjong elephants and two more slingers, uh, tiger slingers. So we're working towards that as well. Now it's just about marching to the places. Honest trait, energetic. Yeah, these are all good traits. That's right, we checked that already. Shisia's army has retreated. Poor guy. Tried to take our trade port. He can keep trying, but let's continue here. Alright, we're at the winter season again. Peace deals in the north. Who cares? Our brothers are getting along. Our older and younger brother. Another honest trait pickup. I think it has to do with the fact that we've been pushing for a lot of resolve and we've been getting these uh, more resolve related traits. Generals useless, leaders useless. Okay. What do we get? Eavesdropper. Okay. Can we attack them now? Oh my god. This forest is such a pain to move through. Alright, let's strengthen this group up. We're gonna go with the tigers. Now, unfortunately, a tiger is not considered a siege attacker. Yeah, or else we can use it to um, attack the city without sieging it. But it is tier 6. I actually wouldn't mind if they leveled up a bit more. Hmm. The other question is what to do about them. Because we're trading with them right now. But this salt mine is part of Shu, and we would love to have it. Guess we'll keep them around. I'm sure they will betray us sooner or later. This is a cave lord, so expertise. Do we have nothing for him? For cave lord bonuses? We must have something. Not even oh expertise, there we go. Okay, we have nothing here. Alright, the army should be ready next turn. Or close enough that we can at least march out. Was this full healed? We can. I don't know if we can entice them to march out, but we can perhaps move forward a little bit. 
we have like a hundred percent ambush chance everywhere. And I do want to fight an actual ambush battle with those uh, blow dart units. So, right, we're not moving anywhere, and that's it. That's all we can do. Uh, open positions, but no commanderies to take another cape lord. And everyone's happy enough that we don't actually need to give them a tribal council. So that's good. So let's continue, assuming we have no better replacement here. Ah, since you're not doing anything, actually, you can actually go reduce some of our corruption reduction. Or help us reduce some of our corruption. Be our corruption reduction. 17%. Uh, you didn't actually make... Oh, he. we don't have the access to the reforms here because we don't own the actual settlement. But Yongchang, we own the settlement, so we can do this. And public order is nice, because we do have the penalty from faction support here, and that's going to increase when we take the next one. So let's just continue. All right. Eventually, we'll get wrapped up into the Han conflicts. Right now, doesn't concern us. We haven't even united our tribes yet. All right. We probably should have got rid of some of these units. I don't know why I paid for a turn of upkeep for these things that we don't intend to use. Uh, we're going to move them up. They have two stacks. They don't know we have two stack, but we do. We can even move them up if we want, but perhaps better to have them defend. Another cave lore level up. Perfect. Victor Defiant. Okay, some expertise, some resolve. Perfect. For his cave lord rule. And yeah, we just have nothing left to build. Monghua's armies got it. Finish them off. Oh, he summoned himself. But sadly, it's a little too late. And this is really just going to be a delegate battle because we are going to actually recall the force right after. Let's not waste too much time here. And I really don't care much for Yang Feng. He betrays us in romance. And we'll see. Oh, Dai Lai leveled up. So he's built pretty not what i would want um because you do only get base damage increase here and this is only armor piercing uh, but it's not terrible you do get the replant uh, the recruitment uh, the recruitment cost discount but we really would like a lot of health and a lot of melee evasion because the longer he is in the fight the crazier he get with this burn damage i think we're just gonna give him melee evasion first All right, and we are gonna fully recall this unit because we're not moving through this jungle again. This insane amount of time it's gonna take. So we're gonna recall him. And we actually have an opening here to cheat the system a little because we did mention when you recall units, you can recruit ones uh, that are currently you know, on cooldown. So suddenly we have two elephants and two tigers available to us. Um, which we can recruit a couple of tiger, uh, elephants because that way we can use them as siege weapon and it will just speed up our campaign greatly. The question is, do we want to actually do that? <laughs> because it is kind of cheating here. I think we'll just siege them down, it's fine. Um, I'm not even sure if I want to take this right away or just beat up the army and bypass them, take some of their counties. Because the city itself, the longer they hold on to that, the better it is for us. Because we also need stuff like entrepreneur or like artisan from higher tier buildings that the Han can provide us. Or else we have to wait till our reform, which is rather late. So maybe we just want to beat up the army, sack and withdraw, move on to the other counties, and just maintain this st uh, stalemate here while taking out the rest of Shu. Um, he still wants war, I believe. He hadn't had enough, right? Beat up his army, take his territory, perhaps he will be that trade partner, and we can take that salt mine instead. Right now, we don't have any other choices. Mulu, I don't want to trade. High Empire costs way too much. Yeah, Mulu, I'm just going to straight up attack him. Hmm, this non-aggression pack is interesting. Like, perhaps we can cancel that right away. Actually, we got to go here to do that. Let's cancel. That's as much warning as I can give you. Alright, 
We're untrustworthy. Yeah, it's going to take a while to work this out, but it's not like we're hoping to make deals with people at this point, so it's not really hurting us. All right, where are we going to redeploy when we attack Mulu? I think we start with the Naman lands. We start here in uh, Jianning's spice market. Move on into his lumber yard. This army will troll by to defend, and then tea house, and then into the rest of Jelzhi, which he already took, and that should be fine. All right, we're good to go. Um, assuming Zhou Yu's back. <laughs> Let's see. Oh right, we confederated a bunch of characters. So look at those too. Inky Chief ambush chance. Nothing too crazy. We had him, but then we released him. Uh, Zhou Yu, Efficient Captain, 30 points, range damage. Not too bad to be honest, but not too great either. Loyal, Greedy, mm, we'll pass. Now who did we pick up for Yang Feng? We picked up Yang Feng himself. Uh, he doesn't hate us, which is pretty shocking. And he doesn't have any rivalry with Zhu Rong either, which is also very shocking. We'll just take this. So far the disappearing items have been weapons, so I'm guessing I'm okay with just removing accessories. They boosted his cunning. Increased range damage for javelins, faction wide if he's leader, 20% extra ammo. Oh, he's actually pretty good. If we're going heavy range, that is, but like... That's a good bonus. Dutyful as well, so plus 10 satisfaction, level up pretty easily, increased chance of ambush. Okay, he's decent. Yeah, I guess we could go down this route and make him like a range and future seer type of character. Yeah, I guess he gets to stay with us. And is this his wife? His wife is a burn officer. Wow. We'll take this. Professional general. Nothing special about this, but the fact that she's a burn officer is pretty good. Not gonna lie. And now we have two burn off, three burn officer. Dai Lai, and then we have two more. That's actually a lot. Uh, Dai Lai will show up. The other one's in the north. I guess we can give Yang Feng and his wife a separate army. Maybe we'll start them up around Shamokul's region, because that's going to be our next hotspot. Even though I think I'm just going to move. Menghuo over again through redeployment, but we'll decide that later. Right now it's fine. Their army composition is nothing too crazy. A lot of javelin. I guess that goes with his uh, javelin bonus here. But let's continue. All right. Shixie is back, by the way. Uh, Meng Jie has another kid. When are we gonna have a kid? I guess we just got married. He's back for round three with uh, his. Son, who I guess they had resiliency, so they lived. Mm, they're also pretty high level. They're going back again for the trade port. I mean, we could technically even summon Menghua here if we wanted to. Oh, she leveled up from uh, her assignment. I mean, eventually she could be a very good assign uh, uh, cave lord for us, as weird as that sound. But right now, I think night battle fire arrow is good because she's also great on the field with her replenishment bonus for her own army. Our brother's wife and Shamoko's sister leveled up to level 6, so she's at the final tier, providing leader. Doesn't add much, you just basically get another skill. No extra points. Uh, blood price is what? Oh, you lose range block chance. Okay, that's nothing That's nothing crazy. Um, just give her some extra health. That's pretty much all we need to do with her. Alright, Yang Feng's ready to go. I think we pop him out here. Oh, actually, no, we have to use our Season 3 deployment, our main army. All right, the debate is we can put Meng Huo and them here. We can crush Shi Xie first, burn through some of the time that we have to use on Mu Lu because we get untrustworthiness if we attack him right now. We can take He Pu from. Ooh, Zhu Ya and Xu. Okay, so he has the rest of He Pu as well. Mulu doesn't have that much then. He has this piece, this piece, this piece. Who has the island here? Trissi has all of these. Mulu probably has the rest over here. 
Hmm. Okay, Yang Feng can start out here. We're gonna actually put Meng Huo here. I'm not gonna loop him anymore. That's just too mean. I mean, if he wants to come fight us, we're not, you know, full healed, but he doesn't have a chance against the generals. He had no chance against the garrison. Alright, Yunnan that needs a lot of build up. But we got time for that. Everywhere else is done. We don't have any deployment, but our new armies are fully ready. They ran. They're constructing here. They're leveling up to 7, you can tell by the constructions. I don't... Oh, they're, they're over here. Hmm. What do we want to do here? This is so annoying that we're trading with them. Perhaps we just give up on this trade route. It's worth a bunch. She doesn't like us. I think we just take it. Yeah, I think we just go for it. We trespass first. They have night battle, so they could fight us one by one, but I'm pretty comfortable with both armies in that I don't think they can do much to us. Alright, general's out. Two other ones here. Let's see if they're any good. We definitely seen her before too. Yeah, nobody that's special, so we're gonna stay away from that. And we're just gonna end turn here. Oh, King Mulu did the job for us. He declared war on us, so we don't have to actually betray him. That's fine. We just have to summon a new army pretty quickly. Alright, Mulu declare war on us. Inkshaw got wiped. Alright, I want better relationship with Duo Si. Even though Superstitious is uh, iffy. I mean, we're pretty much full healed. We can move now. We just need an army here. Defend against Mulu. And we have the perfect candidate for that. And it's going to work out fine because he has a javelin focus. And javelin's quite good against elephants. Uh, I would like a night battle person. Do we have one more? No, we don't. Yeah, we don't. I mean, in that case, he would work. He has 50 stats. Not too bad. Extra morale for the army. That's also a win. He's a cave lord, so giving him a retinue doesn't hurt. Yeah, she's also a cave lord. I, I will use him. Let's see. Hidden Vipers. Wolf pack. Two wolf pack. Slingers, Axe Thurs. I want to try out an Axe Thur. I feel like the Slingers are the ones we can remove. So, let's see. How much can we spend here? We're going to go more Javelin heavy here. I mean, the bonus is not active because he's not actually one of our leader positions. We'll also get some fire archers. We have two of these, three of these, or oh, four of these. No, this is different. This is Shield of the South. That's actually front line. Wolf pack. I like the variety though. Let's see what else we can play around with. We're fighting elephants. Fighting elephants. Maybe more fire archers might be the way to go here. Does she have a lot of cunning? She doesn't. But he does. Right. Okay. But she has burn trait, so I guess it makes up for it. We'll just go with more fire archers. He doesn't technically need units. He's not here really for unit support. Just so we have another general. Alright, everyone's using the elephants. That's fine. We'll give them some extra attack. Both of these can take more cunning. There we go. Alright. Where did the Han army run to? Well, they're actually approaching Xiangyang. We could just break this now, backstab them, take this, they'll be in hostile territory.
Feng Shuo. Okay. We got all sorts of interesting northern strategists in the south here. It's okay. It's a salt mine, so it's a pretty big settlement. Now the question is, I think we can just delegate this with two stacks. Yeah, decisive victory. Medium casualty is fine. Once we have the settlement, it's easy to defend. Alright, faction destroyed. It's a level 3. We need an industrialist, right? We need to take, actually we need to take a city, but I would love it if they level it up, build a fifth building, level it up a couple times. Enduring fighter, so she picked up extra evade, ah, uh, not very useful character. Um, I guess we'll go with that for now. Well, this is going to go heavily range here for us. See, now they're stuck in between us. And they can try to assault the city. They don't even have siege weapons, so they have to siege at least... They have a pearl dragon. What? Alright, this is now the frontier. So we need to move them over. We're probably going to have to go to war with the Han Empire soon. Which is fine. Badong's very nice. Alright, I think we take Meng Huo's army, wipe out Shixie, and then we try to move into Mulu's land afterward. Are you sure encamping is a good idea? Or running to the jungle when fighting the Naman? Alright, we'll fight this. Let's have a proper fight with Shixie at night battle in the jungle. They do have a juggernaut, so we have to watch out for that. And we'll try to spread out our tigers a little bit better this time. So let's go. Alrighty, welcome to the jungle. Now, they have some towers put up here. We see the juggernaut unit. That's totally fine. I don't know if they will advance on us, but we do intend to advance on them. I am going to divide the tiger units up and have them spread out. So, this time what we're going to do is we're actually going to... Maybe two to a side. Let's do that. Let's call these one, let's call these two. And we'll flank them with the tigers from the jungle. And then we'll release them from two sides that will be targeting two different units. As for our main army, uh, we can have advanced scouting position with our elephants and Meng Huo. In case they charge at us. And then we'll follow up with these. I um, guess we'll put the generals together. And the archers, I'm still struggling with how to use properly without burning ourselves, Because if we fire inside the forest, we are going to burn too. Alright, move them up. Stay still. In the open. That's how we want you. Please don't move. Alright, we want to get the tigers relatively... I mean, if we can loop around, it'd be even better. Well, first, let's get to that position. And then over here, same idea. Alright, we don't want to go too crazy here. If we can get a duel... Oh, yes, we can. We didn't get to watch it properly last time. He beat them up so quick. We didn't even give him any buffs or debuffs. And just like wipe them. They see us, but I don't think they'll charge at us. I think they're just gonna hold in this defensive position. They have all these wooden. Oh! We'll do the dueling. Whoa, what is this? Towers? No. Oh, she's just arrow. Okay. We'll kill the sun first. Do they see us? Actually, after they stand here, I think they become invisible. Alright, we gotta catch this before it's too late. 
起勇气。We didn't even use abilities last time. I mean, the weapon itself just ticks down the enemy melee evasion by 50% and does 562 damage over 15 seconds once you burn him. And I believe he's like burned constantly. He's almost dead. She says he's gonna get real angry soon. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, our archers are frying. Okay. Let them go. Let them go. Crazy guys, charge out. I guess we can fire from here. Oh no no, we're burning our trees above us. Step out. Elephant friends, charge out. Decline. Come on. There's Shixie, Meng Huo, and Lady Zhu Rong. Oh, the, the tigers got... Oh, oh wow. Never mind. We don't need to go out. Let's kill the juggernauts with fire. Oh wow. Tigers here. That broke. Oh! Toasted one of our elephants. We're gonna come here to give him a debuff. Can we burn out that tower? It's actually shooting us. Yeah, we need to give our brother... Our brother-in-law a buff. No, 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 he's gonna win. I believe. There we go. That's the win. What happened to Shixie? Did he... Oh, he got chased off by uh, Lady Zhuro. Not so bad. Alrighty. We caught his kids. And his brother. Oh, his kid and his brother. What does release both? I think both Gurong and Dai Lai needs those uh, prudent stacks. Alright. Now we can. Oh, Mu Lu is right here. He took the city and burned it down. No. We've been saving it so that we can. This is not the showdown I want right now. He's clearly stronger than us at this point. We have to retreat when he comes to attack us, by the way. But that will lure him into our area. He has a war elephant and a southern elephant. He only has two elephants? Okay. I mean. I like our army against his. So he's not home. We can go get him soon. Okay, things are progressing pretty nicely. I don't like how he tore down the city though. We've been saving it so that we can keep a large city. Now that he took it, he's probably gonna convert these. Ugh, gonna be useless. Do you still wanna fight, old man? Oh, he had enough. Maybe we can just trade with Shixie. We did lose a trade. That's why we kept these. I mean, this one's actually slightly useful. Like, we're gonna get Han characters too, so... Take these. These are useless. Well, he doesn't like them. Well, we have tons of food. Oh, no, 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 not request food. Trade food. He has plenty of food, apparently. Not giving us a lot of value for them, but buy food? We can deal with that. 
All right, that makes up for a trade. We can focus entirely on Mu Lu. He can take He Pu. It's fine. We'll take the rest of Yu Lin and then go back and finish up Mu Lu over there. Okay, sounds pretty good. Let's continue. All right, clearly Mu Lu has charged out to fight us. I would like another turn of replenishment, especially with him on low health. Uh, Mulu is also on that gold elephant that we want, also the gold bell. I mean, it doesn't matter, eventually we confederate him. So right now, I feel like it's better if we just pull back. Alrighty, so let's see, we got an armor from our armor craftsman, it's the bronze version, that's fine. Orgeal, not bad, he can maybe be an administrator now. Once we get a decent enough Commandery. I mean Yongchang. Uh, it's not commerce basically, it's spice, it's slightly different. I mean Yulin could use one once we take it. It looks like he kept the marketplace. This is conscription, maybe? It's not good. He retreated back, which is fine. I just want Dalai to have a little bit more health. I'll still stand here. I still want him to come and fight us. Anything we forced him on March, which probably kills his supply a little bit. Not that it's gonna matter too much. All right, this is our only option right now because we have a industrialist, but we don't have an entrepreneur. So spice would be great, honestly, but we would need to wait to get an entrepreneur from a settlement that the Han has. So right now we're gonna go for that, just for the better income right away. We can always convert later. Same thing here. Okay, these are all good. They're just coming down, huh? We'll let them keep building. We clearly have- they have a third army now, huh? You're going for this? Lumberyard is your downfall, let me tell you that. If you try to take that, it's not going to work out for you. But we are going to go pick them off. Maybe we'll even go in two directions. A little ambitious here, but I think we'll be okay. Our other army, that's replenishing here. They can move out a little. Yeah, we'll still be full next turn, and we can start taking some of these territory for ourselves. And then we can also shift some of these generals up as well to defend the new territories. And we're just waiting for this fight here, so let's continue. Alright, Mulu is fighting us this time. This time we'll fight them. Our unit's all full healed. Uh, we pretty much got a 300 people boost from that replenishment also. That lad's mostly healed. I think healed enough to duel any of these two generals, because he's on an like, elephant we can't duel him. And let's go. Alright. So the terrain's a little awkward because it's tilting up. I'm pretty sure they're going to charge at us. I want to eradicate them in this open space here. We're going to hide some of our... Or maybe even hide all our tigers behind them. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to hide them all here. Let's call this group. Four. Our elephants will stay hidden in the back, playing the songs to boost. These guys will charge out from a, like a flanking position a bit later. So these are two, these are one, these are three. This is a very important group. They're going to be focus firing down the elephants. And we'll be facing off with whoever wants to come. I'm assuming he will charge at us because he is attacking us. Right, here he comes. He doesn't know where we are, so he's just moving forward. We potentially could get a duel. I can't see if, like, you don't know if this is doesn't want a duel or not. Doesn't want a duel. Okay, never mind. He sees us, is he... Is he coming? Is he just... Yeah, he's coming. He's just disorganized with the elephants. Let's lead him this way. Pull him a little bit away from these units. Also, don't fire well. Uh, 
Actually, I don't think they need to move. Maybe this guy needs to move here. Okay, we just gotta pull them over here towards where we want to fight. None of his units have shield, by the way. Our range starts very soon. We'll fire for now. We're only interested in one target. Also guard mode. Fire. Charge out. Let's murder these before they murder us. Show up. We're definitely not killing these fast enough. Gonna demoralize. Oh, he subdued us. Wow. That's pretty strong. Gotta stall these. Our, our flame units are out. Tiger, get into range. We release from behind them. Like, can you pick up a duel? No. Uh, the subdue sucks. I wanted to throw a dagger at him. Alright, let go. Alright. Now we're wrecking back lines. Charge out. Alright, now we can find you some abilities. Go back over here, demoralize the group. Can we throw one at the giant elephant? Alright, took care of that. Tiger is not going to move on to the next group. So, can't really... So, elephant stalling here. Elephant versus elephant? Okay. Can we fight someone? Demoralize them? Archer is getting killed. You two on him. Where's Mulu? Oh, let me throw one. There you go. Nope, not working. Our tigers are still... I mean, they're chasing the target that we sent them on, which are the, pretty much the slingers. Alright, they're bouncing back, which is fine. No one said this fight was going to be easy, but his elephants are all done. I need to just snipe Mulu. Come on, Lady Jerome, I trust you. There we go. We hit him? No, we didn't hit him. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Bring this guy down. No! Meng Huo is down. It's okay. The wife is angry now. Get him. I hope we don't get a bad trade from this, but there's there's that chance. Maybe we should try to snipe him. But I think the fire weapon is going to be better. Oh no, we got some elephants rallying back. 
Mm, how many archers do we have left? None? Okay. It's gonna be the follower of the flames. We cannot kill him? Oh, our tigers are back. Welcome sight. Right. Take that. Yeah, when the elephants aren't charging, we got a pretty good shot. Bring them down. There we go. I'll take care of the general. Oh, Mulu's down? Oh, he's down. There we go. I'll take it. I have no health, but I think I can do it. Roar. Oh, these tigers, they came in the clutch here. And I think our brother can handle this, no problem. There we go. Ooh. Burn to a crisp here. Good job. Alright, the good news is we fought in our own territory, so we should replenish up nicely after this battle. The bad news is Meng Huo might pick up a bad trait. Yep, one-eyed. Okay, lost some cunning and melee evasion there. We do get scared. That makes up for it. Uh, we captured one more. I really want the item, but I think... Oh, he's not bad. Yeah, it's 50 points. We'll release for now. Add some fondness. Eventually he'll join us. Okay, they have more armies. Okay. Have 44 units at the start of a new turn. We have 88. No worries. That means we finished our reform. Got ourselves a new mission, that's all. Uh, we can't move on because we haven't united the tribes yet. And that's okay. Um, it's time to do our buildings. I think we'll do population growth. And go down that way. Okay, one elephant in that army. Hmm, what should we do? Dai Lai leveled up. More dueling power for him. Ooh, we gained a bunch of items. So, one of the administrator can take that. One of the administrator can take that as well. Dai Lai's angry. Why? Oh, he's level 6. Astute Tactician. Cool. Um, not a problem. We saved the spot for you. There we go. Now, which one of our cave lord would like a new sword? You can take that. Now, we have other cave lords that have no follower items. I'm sure we have. So oh, really? Oh, I lied. Um... We wait then. We wait for a new cave lord once we conquer this. The question is, do we need to go back and save this situation or do we just take him when he's weak? Mm. We can't catch him. He can always turn north. We take him when he's weak. Alright, night battle, we'll take the win. We have plenty of time to heal back when we move backward. Oh, we got his gold elephant. Nice. Uh, we'll just be releasing everyone. So I think Meng Huo should actually get on the elephant. He's not doing so hot on foot. Lady Jurong can take some more expertise. We'll be taking that, the gold southern elephant with all three abilities, extra resolve for health. Yeah, Meng Huo will be riding that for the rest of the game. He didn't change the buildings, which is not terrible, but he tore it down. It was like level 4, I believe. Uh, these are not good enough. They don't have any uh, like assignment. This doesn't... Uh, I mean... Sure, there's a trade port. This is actually not a bad building for us to keep. But if it was like level 4, like we can't see it, but if it was level 4, we get an entrepreneur. 
but unfortunately we don't have that. This is probably okay to keep as well. It's not terrible. I mean, just for variety's sake, because if we tear it down, we never can get it back. Yeah, I think we just hang on to it. Um, we can't upgrade that because we're upgrading that. Should we cancel it? No, actually, we can defend that if they attack. Yeah, I think so. They're slower than the Hunt army, technically. Elephants are not as fast as cavalry. Alright, this is an opening. We're going to take that. Assuming they don't have like a third army somewhere. Oh, this army has no night battle? We gotta work on that. They have not been doing a good job of building it up. Alright. We'll move them out. Going south next. We'll defend that. What's this army? How are we doing? Oh, they're going deep. To the copper mine. Really? I think we just need like two generals. Which we have. Like sometimes one general is not good because they feel lonely and they start losing morale like crazy. And that's not lonely, it's just basically they feel like the army is heavily outnumbered. If you have them in a buddy system, they tend to stick together much better. I mean, if this is the case, I'm not going to chase them forever. We're just going to loop around them. And they leveled up to 7, which means they should be building a new building here soon. We can go take their farm, which will starve their capital, actually. Uh, we want to go here. And it's too hard to move through this way. I feel like we just follow them and we loop from the north to take the other farm. Wait, they have two farmlands? No, no, no. This is a different Basi. Yeah, there's not the same commandery. That's why. Like, there's no two farmlands in Shu. We can shift Liu Zhang towards Basi after he finished building this for us. That's gonna be a lot of food for us when we take it. So we gotta take this first, anyways. Maybe we'll take both food. Yeah, we're probably gonna need that food. All right, so they're fine. Not upgrading any of these. We've been going with. I think, yeah, Sites of Reflection, I think that's Site, site of Worship. Yeah, that's the one. And that's pretty much it. We defend here. One-eyed. Poor guy. Well, we got an elephant off of him, so not the worst. We'll see which one they decide to take. Um... But yeah, we are leaving them alone, so we're also going to turn around. Let's continue. Alright, that army just went north instead of attacking any place, which is interesting. But, um, probably not the wisest move. Alright, Cave Lord level up. We have so much movement speed. I'm surprised. Like campaign movement range? Just snatching up these free land. I believe that's all the Nanman territory down here. We're missing one piece in Wuling and that's it. And we have all the Nanman territories conquered. We don't have all the tribal fealty yet, but we're almost there. I mean, if he wants to bash his head against a lumberyard or a trade port, go for it. Um, level 7? Wow. He kept some of the Han buildings. Not enough, though. Mm, we might just burn this down, actually. Um, like, I don't think this is a level 4. I think this is also level 3. Yeah, it looks like level 3 to me. So... The inn is nice. But I don't want... Actually, we'll take it and probably just downgrade it a couple times. Anyways. You can lead the army again. Alright, we are... I don't know, should we push for this? 26, we can get one more trait. So the most you can get from a trait is 12 points of authority, so that'll put us at 188. That means we can take 10 more without worrying about it. Right, we won't overflow here. 
And yeah, and then we'll think of something else to put it in. Probably expertise for melee evasion, because we did lose 10 points from one-eyed. But then again, maybe we'll just keep tanking damage for our wife. Once you get one bad trade, you can't get another. Commander? No, not the good type. Okay. Right, so what should we do? I don't really want to go wild goose, uh, goose chase that, so I think we just head down over here. They're going to need help taking this city, uh, considering they have no elephants, so we need elephants for that siege. We also got the military building done. That's right, we can recruit new elephants and tigers. Now we can play the music. Alright, we can only get one more tiger because we have over the limit already here. I think what we will do, however, is concentrate some of the tigers on Lady Jurong. Cause I think there is an achievement for actually having a full retinue of tigers. So well, that one's ranked. Ah, that's fine. Uh, actually, this is probably more. This is better. Let's swap this. Do that, and then we're gonna swap these two. Do tigers. There we go. We're one short. We'll get there with a little bit more help from um, reforms and buildings. Well, not leveled up. He is not a cave lord, but he's in our tribal council. That's why he's getting experience. He got some instinct. Um, he can be a good duelist if we give him a good weapon. I guess we'll continue down this route. He has formidable as a trait as well, so he has potential to max out instinct. Oh, our tamer. Uh, just extra health for now. We will upgrade this. Alright, let's go turn our attention north. What are they doing? One army disappeared? Ambush mode? I mean, they're attritioning like crazy over here. Alright. I think all our main forces have moved. Menghuo moved, they moved, they moved. Okay, we're good to go. Let's continue. Alright. So I saw the army pop up, and I think they're going back. I mean, they're really weak, but the farmland's really hard to defend. Um, so. Wait, if we get rid of this, can we recruit one more? No, we can't, because it's only Tiger Slinger got increased, so I can't get the full retinue. I'm not going to get rid of that tiger. Man, the movement here is just so slow. Alright, Dulce doesn't need any help. It's confirmed. So, we'll come back and try to defend that. I don't know if they can make it with the terrain here, so I'm not going to overreact here. Our other armies. Uh, this one. Yangfeng's army. Can't believe he doesn't hate us. Um, we might have to bypass uh, Deldr because it's just going to be very hard to take. We're going to have to wait for Monghua's army. I might go hunt them down. Can we beat them? Yeah, I don't think we can beat them. Let's not overachieve here. Our job is to take free commanderies. Yeah, we can just jump into the jungle, cut through here on March. It'd be difficult, but it'd be easier than going through uh, Zeldra right here. Meanwhile... We need one turn replenishment. We can now play all three music plus one extra. You have a backup elephant? Ah, oh, he doesn't. I want more elephants. We only have five? No, we have four right now? That might be all we're going to get. We might get another mission for a silver one, but no guarantees there. Okay, we're good. Uh, let's continue. Alright, we got ourselves another reform. That's because we went back to tier 1 and things are pretty quick now. Three turns here. We're going to start getting the circle buildings going. Uh, we get a couple new assignments as well. And peasantry and the land development upgrade. And then we'll get a set of missions for these. 
and then we'll finish one of these. I think we'll take the industry one. Yeah, industry income. And then we're going to go farther circle. This one's key because once we get this one, we can start upgrading our tigers and uh, well, tigers mainly because we don't have southern elephants yet. But we can start getting extra tigers here. And this will be pretty good for income. So that's the plan. Let's just take this. We need more food if we're going to take some of these level 7 settlements. Would be assassin, so just extra experience, no bad things happened. We also see that the Han armies are here. And they're on march, so we could just take them. All oh, those picked up bright, all that cunning training paid off. Okay, not useful. Yeah, we'll just pick them off one by one. Okay. He's gonna summon more, but we're just gonna choke him off, take off his other food supply. He built a new building here. I think this is the late uh, state workshop. We'll let him upgrade. This is very low level. I'm just gonna keep my eyes on Chengdu. Once I'm happy with it, we'll take it. Upgrade this. Okay. We have an assignment, but I don't know if we have any characters left. Oh, right. He timed out then. 6%. Who makes the most? 2%. 2%. 6%. 6 we'll send him here. That army is coming towards the Lumberyard. They have no shot at taking a Lumberyard. Lumberyard layout is too strong to take. So... Not even going to be worried about it. The question is... Hmm... We can't reach here, so I can't get a save point, so we might have to fight that fight. We'll see. We'll see how this... Oh, he went south. Sneaky. Oh, we can take it. Movement's great here. I mean, we have a bonus on some of these characters for energetic. All right, we'll use this as our save point. I think we are now approaching, you know, Mulu's capital. I'm sure he has both of these pieces down here. Yep, Runan and uh, uh, Jiuzhen's area. And uh, Shi Xie is now our friend. He's trading with us. He holds everything here. Zhou Xin is Gaoliang. I think he won the Civil War. I know he had a split, but it seems like Shi Xie took a piece from his Civil War partner. And what we're going to do here is finish off Mulu for sure. This is all Shi Xie. We can maintain a trade partner with him. He doesn't hold any of the spice holdings, which is what we really care about. And if we can maintain a peace with him, I'm okay with it. And if you also notice here in the Han settlement, since it is a Han settlement, we can build walls. It's not Nanman can't build walls. We just can't build it in Nanman land. So we're going to have this as like a stronghold over here. We'll put an army here just to spy on Shi Xie and potentially the Sun clan because they're going to be scary too. I don't know how long the mom's going to gain control. Liu Bao lost Changsha to Yellow Turban Rebels. Makes no sense. Uh, but after we wipe out Mulu, hopefully in the next episode, I think it won't take that long, we'll be able to redeploy once again our army over here. We're going to turn on Sha Mo Ke, our brother-in-law. I mean, he's not our brother-in-law. He's our brother's brother-in-law. So I don't know what that makes him uh, to us, but we'll be wiping him out, finally uniting all the tribes. Each of them have two fealties. We'll grab both. We'll complete the Nanman land once we grab that one. And the victory condition will come in because we actually hold... Let's see, how many do we hold? We can take a look. Right now, we hold 27 counties. That includes 18 pieces. No, there's yeah, there's 21 pieces of Naman land. We have 20 of them. So we have seven non-Naman territory right now. And we're going to need 29. So we still need a bunch. And that's going to take a long time. Uh, as I don't plan to aggressively expand. I want to be smart about it. I don't know what I'm going to do with Lady Wu. Technically, they're just a 
long-term threat if we let them survive. But the High Empire is very juicy target, especially since there is a Weaponsmith here that I'm pretty interested in. I think we might just make a push for uh, Jamung Pass, and that way we can keep our army here to hold uh, in the north. It'd be a nice choke point. And then we'll get the Quay Pass over here, conquer everything behind it. And I believe if you have the Quay Pass and Badung, and you put armies in both, you could choke off the river with your zone, against enemies at least. I don't. You can't do it against neutral factions, they can just sail by of course, but maybe we can protect it from uh, enemy forces and then we can start thinking about, because this is an easier target, once we get this, we can start thinking about Lady Wu. Right now we have trade deals with them and Shixie, so we'll keep it that way. And then maybe we'll, you know, unite the south. It'd be like a southern tribe against whoever came out on top in the north and the central plains. And we'll see how we proceed from that point. So I hope you guys enjoy this one and see you guys next time. Bye!